Hello, welcome to my channel. It's Melissa B. Graham. And today is day 23 for my liquid journey. My 50 days of liquid. Liquid and only liquid. Right through Thanksgiving, of course. It is right now about 2023 20, or 32. Dyslexic. In the evening, let me tell you, I was up since 5 o'clock. I got in the truck, went to Buffalo, and did some backing up. And, I, you know, why can't I just tell a lie and say, I'm I'm that chick. I know how to back up. I still can't back up. I still have problems backing up the truck. Okay, the last couple times I backed up it was due to the fact that... Um, I was crunched for time and the truck was supposed to be in the dock by a certain time because we have like a U.S. contract and I didn't, we didn't have time to just let me get in, get it in there. So I'm going to go again this weekend and try it with no time constraints and see if that helps me out. Anyway, I get off on a tangent. I need to apologize to those very few <laughs> that actually are following this journey because not a lot are and i'm trying to do this journey for myself and to motivate others mainly for others because if i can do it and it's just a journey not what the journey is is that what it's about it's about the fact that i'm continually finishing a journey that i start this year in 2020 um because even on these even on my facebook videos there's been a lot of different things I've even opened my mouth and said that I was going to do and still didn't complete. But I am going to make this happen this year. I'm going to be done by December 22nd. I will have completed 50 days of liquid only. Mm -hmm. Yes. What? And just in case by chance anybody sees this that has never saw one of the videos, liquid, water, tea, juices 100 percent fruit juice and i try not to drink too much of it because it's very very sweet you know there's a lot of uh, carbohydrates in it um almond milk i have added some chocolate then melted it so i'd have chocolate milk i surely did mm -hmm. um tomato soup like every day broth let me think i bought all this i thought i bought a whole bunch of jello and i was gonna have jello and then I bought like the prepackaged ones and regular to make ones, but I made a lot. I got a lot of the regular make ones. Never made it. And honestly, I don't know. I only had it for like two days and it's, it wasn't appealing to me. I don't know. So, but I'm doing it. Like this TLC tea that I've been drinking. Um, I make sure I drink it every day of anything because I spend a lot of money on that package and I'm making sure I use it every single day. Um, I have the Nutra Burst from that TLC packet. A tablespoon of that vitamin liquid nasty stuff that is supposed to be equivalent to 10 salads so one tablespoon of that liquid smelly stuff is supposed to be equivalent to 10 salads yep every morning i take a tablespoon and mix it in with a juice i really don't like and mix it and then take my handful of vitamins and minerals and pop them in my mouth and take it all and i've every uh, pretty much every other day or if I feel weak, I'll have um, a protein shake. Yeah, and I have the premium ones, so they're like 30 grams per little container. It's a lot of protein. So I make sure I'm not gonna pass out. There was a few days that I have not made videos that, let's just say Mother Nature is not so kind to me in these days of ages or whatever. And I was really weak. I was really groggy and miserable. And do not try this at home, people. And I don't recommend it. I mean, they say, <laughs> I have some close friends that keep telling me, talk, did you talk to a doctor? Did you talk to a doctor? I don't talk to doctors because I know enough about my body slash the medical background enough. So I know what I'm doing and what I need to do to stay alive <laughs> so yeah i'm not gonna die 
and I'm on day 23 and I have not, let me tell you just how much of a day, how strong I am. So yesterday was my daughter's birthday. Happy 23rd birthday, Bronte. It was yesterday and I should have made this video for her yesterday, but anyway, she's probably never going to see it. But, um, my, we were making cupcakes for her and you know how you just, you're cooking and making stuff and then you sit at a table and we're talking. Mm -mm, I'm not doing that. And we're talking. And my granddaughter just bites the cupcake and hands and says, here while I taste this, this, and that. And I literally looked and I stopped. It's like, I, I'm not allowing myself to cross that line. Today, I got a cup of, I was in Wegmans, getting all my stuff for Thursday. And I saw Panora's broccoli cheese soup. And I'm like, okay, maybe a, a piece or two, a little string of carrot won't really kill me. It won't, it's a vegetable. It'd be no different than our puree because I have had a few, a few <laughs> homemade um, smoothies with strawberries, peaches, spinach, that type of thing. So I have had a couple of those to keep nourishment in my body. Yes, I have. In liquid form. And the soup. So I got the soup. I heated the soup and I s opened it and stirred it. And I'm like, it was full of broccoli pieces, like big broccoli pieces. So I'm like, no, I can't do it. I did have like some of the broth slash cheese juice or whatever. And I stopped. I literally did not want to do it. I did not want to, I did not want to cross the line. And yes, I had a weigh in Saturday and no, I did not weigh in. And I did not weigh in because my daughter told me to speak honestly and freely to you people, to everyone who watches the five whole people, 10 people. Um, yeah, Mother Nature came and uh, you put on weight as a woman when you have that thing happen. So you typically put five to 10 pounds of fluid weight. So yeah, there's no way I'm gonna go all those days without eating to reduce my size to lower my weight, to uh, find the scale was ugly to me. So I didn't, yeah, I did not weigh in. So my weigh in, I believe is Thursday on Thanksgiving, the day I have to cook and serve and sit and have, I think I might have a, a couple of tablespoons of, of like gravy. I am, cause if I'm having broth already with some gravy, you know, whatever. So gravy and maybe a couple slices of cranberry sauce. Yeah, sure. That's that's my Thanksgiving. Um, but I weigh in Thursday, I think. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Yeah, I believe it's Thursday, which will put me at, yeah, two more days. That'll put me at 25 days. That's my halfway marker to 50 days. Oh, my God. I can't wait. Yeah, it feels like every day I can't. I, you know, I'm tired. Every time I come out here, I'm so tired. I got up at 5 this morning. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, I would never watch this back. Please don't everybody tell me what I, I look like. Almost yawning. Yeah, I was up pretty early today. Running around all day. I'm tired. I surely am. Um, okay, quickly, because I hate rambling. Because I think because I ramble is why people don't follow my journey. And I think I pretty much said the last time that I haven't been making videos every day. Because, like, why am I making these videos? Nobody's watching them. So I had a message today in my Facebook Messenger, and it um, it warmed my heart. So I'm going to read a couple pieces of it to you. Wow. Because this is what I started making videos for in um, the beginning of COVID, I started these journeys and it wasn't a journey then this was a uh, sharing things you know motivational things physical things anything i was sharing everything walks you know if you watch my facebook videos you'd know but i got i'm not gonna read it all because to me when you somebody sends you a, a messenger message is personal-ish you know like and i know i do not know this person but that's kind of why this maybe me means more so I'm going to read you a couple of things that I highlighted that was pretty amazing in, in his um, message. I'm blessed to share your journey. My heart adores listening to your story and seeing that amazing personality. Compliments for anyone feel amazing. I mean, because you don't know. 
Thank you. Okay. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. If you didn't think anyone appreciates that, I really do. This COVID has been hard. Okay, although I must, I'm almost busting the tears reading that to you. It hit home because, yeah, I kind of felt like I'm annoying you guys. I'm talking too much. You don't want to hear. <laughs> I think lack of food gets me emotional and weak and tired. And I want to stop this video because I feel like... Okay, so I started the videos. <laughs> Hold on a second. All right, yep. It's not what we're supposed to be doing. I don't know, you get emotional after a while. <laughs> okay, dis disregard this last section. I'm sucking it in because this is my personality. I'm just strong, invincible. I can do everything, anything. And I agree, this COVID has been hard. These last, I don't know, a few years of my life have, have been hard. <sighs> wow. Hard for a lot of reasons. I know in many videos I've shared the reasons. Um, I don't know, I've, uh... wow. I've isolated myself um, from the world, kind of, sort of. I just kind of stay to myself. Everybody lives their own life. They make their own decisions. They do things that affect them. So I have been kind of falling back from everybody. And when I first started these videos, <clears throat> not these particular ones, but when I first started making videos on Facebook, it was really to help me help you. And to get past the sadness that I feel a lot. And it helps. It helps when, when I can touch somebody from something I might say. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I'm sorry. Please, I'm sorry. Okay, so... We all need help sometimes from someone. And I am never one to just like ask for help, reach out and say I need help. But this weight thing has to change so I can feel better. <laughs> we'll go with that. I want to feel better about me physically and then it will help me mentally and get me back into the swing of life. <clears throat> um, yeah, um, this is a 50-day liquid journey that has me super emotional um, for lots of different reasons. I mean, now in this COVID scenario, we're um, getting ready to shut back down again. Um, People have to stop working. Um, I'm going to be driving these trucks, I believe, I hope. So maybe I can occupy my mind because that's the main thing I need to do. I need to finish writing these books so I can really help. Like if I can finish writing these books, launch them, have them, um, I can't even think of the word right now, um, published and they touch someone, it means everything to me to help somebody. There are friends that I try and help, and there's friends that um, ask for help, and I do my best. I'm not as strong as I used to be. I just admitted that to the whole wide world, theoretically. We know like 10 people watch it, but that's totally fine. I'm sorry for those who actually watch it, and this is way too much. Um, for this person who sent me this message, it really shook me because, yeah, for a few days, I really, I'll look and check and see 
because I keep track of the YouTube and <laughs> I make the videos and barely anybody watches them. So I'm like, wow, okay, so I'm making it um, for, I can't say for nothing when there's somebody watching it. So I, you know what? I have preached and preached to people for years, appreciate what you have. So instead of saying I don't have thousands or millions of views, I'm going to say thank you to the ones who do watch. Because clearly after that message, I get through to somebody. And I know I've said it before, even if it's one person that I get through to, it's worth it. You're worth it, whoever you are that it gets through to. Um, everybody's worth it. And I think everybody needs somebody to say that you're worth it. So um, I'm grateful that the words that come out of my mouth can be um, beneficial to you. I appreciate you. Um, I think that's enough today because I made a complete, <laughs> I made a mess of myself today in front of you. I believe <laughs> I'm trying to see the clock without t tilting my head too much. I believe it's like 16 minutes, which is my longest and probably gonna be the least viewed because it's so long um it, i hope to talk to you guys on thanksgiving day i'm gonna really weigh in then um if if by chance i don't i get too busy and i don't say anything for you guys then happy thanksgiving i hope everybody utilizes thanksgiving for what it's worth um i've come to realize as i've gotten older I used to make huge meals, you know, like in my head that that's what Thanksgiving was. It was these big meals. And maybe it's because most of the time I do it by myself now. You know, I don't, the girls barely help because they don't really cook. But I think now it's pretty much more important to me for the family aspect, you know, that you have your family with you. Um, so hopefully I'll have my family with me. And it doesn't matter, like, what actual meals are prepared. If we sit and share bread and we sit around and appreciate each other and laugh and smile, that's what it's all about. That's what we should be thankful for because that's what we have. I appreciate all of you. I appreciate the opportunity to be able to sit here and record this and share it with you. Because there's people who maybe want to do that and don't have the capabilities to. So I appreciate it. I want you guys all to appreciate the little things. Because usually the little things are what means the most. Um, I will end this with my golden rule. Because I feel it's necessary right now. Treat others as you want to be treated. And this world will be a better place. So I'm sorry it's so long. I'm sorry I was an emotional mess, and I shared my journey. Day 23, I'll see you again, hopefully, on the 25th. Maybe tomorrow, we'll see. I doubt it. <laughs> but you guys have a good one. Happy Thanksgiving, just in case I don't get back to you by Thursday. Good night. It's not going to stop until I stop it. <laughs>